Hey guys, the DeWalt Flexvolt 1 and 7 8 SDS hammer drill looks an awful lot like its older corded brother. It even has the same internal mechanism, but it's not corded. It's a combo rotary hammer, and basically that means it's a rotary hammer and hammer only for chipping. This cordless hammer has two safety features that are worth noting. First of all, it's got the E-clutch system, and then it has the shocks anti-vibration control. The E-clutch system is basically an overload clutch, kind of like your cordless drill. The E-clutch system senses motion in the tool when the, to when the tool torques, and it shuts it down if necessary. It's an anti-rotational technology, and it basically protects you from bind up and stall situations. When the tool senses a stall or bind, it adjusts the torque accordingly and kind of releases the, the twist on the tool. There's a red light indicator that will illuminate when that E-clutch system is engaged. The shocks anti-vibration control is technology that is basically, uh, it's basically designed to reduce vibration felt by the user at the handle of the tool. The handle is decoupled basically with springs and it ends up in a much reduced vibration felt by the user. It's kind of like a floating rear handle, anti-vibration handle, and it does a really nice job at reducing vibration. It is truly a very smooth hammer drill to use. Um, we used it to install car jack system, a vehicle lift in a, in a client's garage, and we found it to be fast drilling, low vibration, and we drilled in older hard concrete. The tool itself achieves 13.3 uh, joules at 8.9 foot-pounds, and has 350 RPMs. It has a constant speed electronics and it basically allows the tool to maintain speed under load. The electronic speed and impact control allow you to use smaller bits without breakage. And that means you can hammer drill into lighter, more brittle materials without shattering it. And it gives you more precise control. And all you need to do is basically just use that speed dial and control it and dial it down. Um, there are two LED lights that give you feedback the E-clutch, which we talked about, and a service indicator. Um, red light on means E-clutch is engaged. The yellow light on the tool indicates that service is needed. To be more specific, the tool will run for 150 hours, and then the, the service light flashes yellow, indicating that the mechanism needs service. And that service needs to be performed within the next 10 hours of operation time. After that 10 hours, the light goes solid yellow, and that indicates that you've exceeded the service interval and you may damage your tool. Um, the chisel index position. So the chisel can be indexed and locked into 24 different positions. Pretty easy to do. You just turn it to the zero indicator, rotate it, lock it in. Um, while this feature is not new, it certainly makes using this tool ergonomically friendly. Um, let me see. We use the Flexvolt rotary hammer both horizontal and vertical. And I've got to tell you guys, at 20 pounds, it's manageable uh, to do both, either one, horizontal, vertical, and certainly powerful to get the job done. Uh, it drilled effortlessly into poured concrete wall to install gym equipment, and later, like I said, we used it to install and bolt down the vehicle lift system in a concrete floor. Piece of cake. It just cut right through it. Uh, the drill itself, easy to set up, easy to use, super intuitive. It's a perfect use for concrete demo, drilling, light chipping, breaching cinder block, rebar doweling, even trenching. I want to mention the size and weight of the tool. This DeWalt rotary hammer is bigger and heavier than my inch and three quarter rotary hammer that I'm used to using. DeWalt's been able to keep the size and the weight down a little bit, but they were able to increase the impact energy 20%, and that's to 13.3 joules. With an increase in power, clearly is going to come an increase in weight and size. So one thing you might notice is that the larger size of the storage box, in, in, in fact, it's much larger, and that means it's going to be harder, if not impossible for me anyway, to store in my trailer, on the shelves of my trailer, because they're welded. I, I'm fixed, fixed shelves. You might have the same problem. You might not. Um, you know, obviously the box is bigger. It's got batteries and chargers and things like that, and so it's, it's going to be a larger box. Just be aware of it. Other than that, guys, it's a really nice rotary hammer. Um, as far as cost goes, the Flexvolt hammer is going to sell as a kit with two batteries and a really nice heavy plastic case for $9.99, almost a grand, and as a bare tool at $6.99. Uh, Flexvolt 
hammer drill overall guys my my thoughts on this is it's an excellent choice for pro contractors guys that work in concrete commercial demo for tile mechanical electrical and plumbing trades it's going to replace my first generation hammer drill corded hammer drill right over there i absolutely love this thing I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was super short. There's not a whole lot to say about a hammer drill. Uh, please comment and subscribe. We welcome your feedback. And also, don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Facebook, both on Toolbox Buzz and Concord Carpenter. Take care, guys.